Hello and welcome to another episode of Travel Chef. And today we are going to go to a particular place. Actually, we are going to go for a shopping. And in that, we wanted to show you in this video, what is the effect of online business with offline stores? Well, it's a little different concept for what we have been doing. Of course, but we wanted to prove a point that many businesses are suffering because of online competition. Uh, we have gone to this shop market or a hypermarket called Big Bazaar that is uh, next to Hebbal and we wanted to see how much and what is the crowd people are uh, shopping. Uh, usually this place, it was very full but now due to the online competition, uh, we could see the dwindling crowd over here. So in this video, we wanted to show you how and how the businesses survive post the pandemic and post the competition, how they are able to survive and continue the business. Also, we have also gone to a little uh, shop where they sell kati rolls to do a review of our food also. So in this video, you have actually two uh, separate uh, issue as well as uh, a food review. So come on along with us. <music> We start our journey seeing the SNN Towers on the outer ring road towards Hebbal. Right beside it is Marriott's courtyard that we is a landmark in this place. In fact, we have taken a bike for a ride to view the beautiful sunset. Almost reaching a destination of Nagishati Hali where Big Bazaar is located. Finally, we have reached Big Bazaar and we had a little queue with all the standard protocols of checking the temperature, etc., was followed. In fact, the temperature check was done by a machine which is kind of different from normal ways. Now we are in the fashion or clothes section of Big Bazaar and there was a lot of choice available. Obviously, before the lockdown and the corona uh, pandemic, this place was busy with people. But if you see now, there's not much of people, it's just scattered. See the size fits? I feel Reliance, this big bazaar is much cheaper than the Reliance. This looks nice. Now we had gone to the first floor where there is a kids section. Also there was a men's section but this is kind of small to the, the women's section of clothing. There was a wide variety of choice for men but the clothing was the starting price of the pants was starting at $7.99. Now we had moved on to the crockery section or the utensil section. Even this, there was not much of branded uh, items to be displayed, but normal choices. 
Here in the crockery section, there was not much of people checking out products. So we thought we'll leave the place and then move to have some good kati rolls. Right next to this big bazaar, there was this joint that sells good kati rolls and it was called Kolkata Kati Rolls. In fact, that uh, the food was reasonably priced. Also, we wanted to order something a little filling too on the as a evening snack. So kati rolls are little wraps that they make stuffed with chicken or with uh, paneer or egg. There's a lot of choice over here. So we thought of ordering the double chicken kati rolls and we thought it'll be a bit filling. So let's see how they make this kati rolls. Firstly, the person will fl flatten is the paratha and then he will place it on a large tawa as he is doing right now. There was a large number of orders coming in. He had to multitask and so there will be 3 to 4 parathas at the same time on his tawa. The next he spears some oil onto the tawa and he ensures that the, all the parts of this paratha is mixed with the oil and they are little turned and they turn brown in colour. Next he adds in the stuffing. Next step is he will add chicken onto the uh, parathas that he's made and then he adds a little onion as topping next he smears some lime add some sauce add some chili sauce place some uh, masala powder rolls it wraps it in a tissue paper and he hands it over to us to eat our kati rolls is ready to be eaten so let's taste the food and give our review so this is a kati roll that we have got and let's taste it very tasty a lot of meat is done very nicely with some uh, with, uh, gives a distinct flavor of the sauces as well as with uh, onions. Very tasty this. Very nice. Try this restaurant. It's next to Big Bazaar in Nagashetti Hill. How's it? The, the sauces are pretty tasty, you know, very sweet as well as very important for number one party rolls. Hey, you can place an order with the mobile number. And you're the owner. You're the owner. Okay. Anyways, thank you very much. It's very tasty. Well, we hope you liked watching our video and we request you to like, share and comment on them. But of course, please keep in mind to help the little traders who are really struggling real war of online versus offline uh, shops. Well, uh, this video which you have taken uh, today, we just wanted to give you an example. If this is the case in Big Bazaar, what would be the situation uh, uh, for a small trader? No customers, there's no money, and how does he run a shop? So this was just an example that we have created in Big Bazaar to show such a big shopping uh, hypermarket and there was not much of crowd over there so now so i would request you to support small traders so if you can support them by going to the shops and helping them to buy stuff 
that will really be helpful. Also, I hope you loved watching our video of eating the Kolkata Kati rolls too. So, uh, please share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions for us, please enter it in the comment section below. This will really help us to improve our channel. Well, until the next video, take care, stay safe and see you soon. Bye-bye.